are sitting back on there now. It could really be wet rubbed in certain spots. It's got a couple little pieces in it uh, here and there. But as you can tell, starting to come out absolutely cracker. So reflecting really well in the sun. Really happy. Got the custom uh, or R and S series plates on there as well that mum's picked out and they look really good as well. So ended up getting the spoiler fitting up really good as well by um, gluing a metal brace underneath the spoiler as before you could might have remember it had a few wobblies in it and it's starting to sit really flat now so that's a lot better than what it was got the overall fit up much better and that's starting to look a million bucks on the LX Tirana. So as you can see behind me, the car is pretty much nearing completion now. It is finished, um, bar a few odds and ends which we'll tidy up after, but it is ready to roll. So over the last eight months in part-time out of the day job, been ticking away um, all the jobs in this car. We've taken it from the green LX we picked up from the barn find it was back eight months ago, and we've given it the tender loving care that it needed, and we've taken it to the car that it is today. And we're just about ready to take it for its first drive. We're going to fill the tank up with some juice um, and put it through its paces and see how it goes. Let's do it.
Alrighty, just got back after the first drive. Car actually drives really good. I'm really surprised. Um, no issues. Small fuel leak, filled the tank up to the brim, and I think it's uh, maybe coming out of the sender unit, but that's all sweet. We'll sort that. But um, brakes really good, drives really good. It's got a little bit of power. I'm actually surprised. Goes really smooth. Um, setting position is killer. Um, overall, very happy. So just went to new and back. It's probably about 25, 28 Ks um, and didn't miss a beat. So I just wanted to run it through its paces, see if it would, um, I guess, have any issues. So far, so good. So since the last video, obviously you would have seen that the spoiler is now all back on finished in the silver juco insert with the slr 5000 lettering turned out absolutely wicked um, finally got those number plates back on it it's on the uh club Regio. ended up painting the gds wheels again as they were the wrong silver where there was a bit too silver and they looked like the tin man from the wizard of oz but they're a lot better now they come out really good and just cleaned up those GDS center caps. So that is more of the uh, correct silver now with just a satin black semi-gloss. And then of course have fitted the bonnet and finished off the bonnet scoop as well. It's really good. So there's a couple of small issues. I wouldn't mind doing the bonnet again, but it's come out good. It is satin black and it is quite tricky to lay on and then uh, keep it consistent as well. So overall, very happy. Ride height before was a little bit too low with those springs that I changed it over to in the last video. So I've put the original springs back in it. I filled it up now with fuel. I've got a spare wheel in the boot and it's come out and it's sitting pretty good. So I didn't want to have it too low overall. I think it's going to drop and I didn't want to have any people in the back and then risk it scraping. So obviously that door ledge isn't cut and now uh, it's pretty much a standard wheel top. So overall very happy. Interior is obviously interior finished off as well now in the black and the golf ball inserts with those door trims. It's come up really good. And of course the uh, the stereo as well. So that's good for the road trips and uh, just got some speakers up in the back to uh, keep the tunes going along. Just take a look under the bonnet. It's really clean under here. Still got some things I still want to finish off 100%. So. I'm gonna piss off the uh, blue ignition leads. We'll put some black ones on it eventually. And I do wanna source an original five liter air cleaner with the uh, snorkel and finish that off with the uh, five liter sticker. But for now it's clean, it's tidy and it presents well. So I could probably um, do with a wet sand and a polish inside the engine bay. But for now it's really clean. And like I said, it just presents well inside the bonnet, everything. We've got all new zinc bolts and uh, zinc plated stuff, the hinges. And uh, all the bolts along the tops of the guards and nose cones so pretty much everywhere we could where we removed bolts they are new or they have been zinc plated and it just those little one percenters along the way um, results in a uh, an overall better product with the um, car so wiring side of things so i do want to clean up what's left of here and the uh the old relays which was how it was i'm going to go across the car and just tidy up a few things along the way but for now i just wanted to get the car running driving and on the road we're uh, a week out from that car show at barmer looks like it's going to be about 40 degrees next weekend so we'll weigh up the options as uh the weather might change along the way but it's probably a little bit too hot for a first drive um, might end up stuck to the seats in this thing so about it for this one it's turned out pretty good i'm very happy it's uh, exactly how i imagined it with the orange the satin black and the gds wheels it's starting to look killer so you might be thinking what's in the pipeline for the next project well i was going to ask if you or anyone else you know out there has a car sitting around just like this which might be a barn find or a project that you're just not gonna get around to finishing um, you can slip me a message on my instagram blake underscore evans 383 or find me on facebook blake evans um, send me a message if you know of a car anything sitting around a classic a muscle car Tiranas, monaros whatever they are i'm interested so hit me up we might be in uh the process of doing another car along the way but if there's something that tickles your fancy and you're thinking of getting rid of it let me know i might be interested so um thanks all for tuning in appreciate the support and we'll see you all in the next video cheers